One simple trick that can prevent falls. Hi, my name is Doug. I've been a physical therapist for 30 years and I specialize in helping people with balance problems learn to walk again. In this video, I'm going to address one of the biggest problems that seniors face, falling. Did you know that the main cause of falling is actually how you turn? There was a study done in Great Britain where they looked at video cameras that were inside nursing home hallways. They actually looked at 60,000 falls and what they wanted to know is what causes these people to fall. 80% of the falls were a result of the person trying to turn and crossing their legs. Whenever you turn to the right or left, you should never cross your legs. When you cross your legs, you make it very likely that your legs will get sort of tangled together and it's just harder to take that next step. Usually that's how people fall, especially older people. So if you want to avoid this big risk, what you want to do is practice turning correctly. When you want to turn to the right, you should lead with the right leg. The right leg should be the thing that leaves the ground first and completes the turn and then the left leg follows. If you turn to the left, it's the same thing. You want the left leg to start the turn and the right leg to follow. What you never want to do is cross one leg over the other. That is the number one reason that people fall and it's something you want to avoid. If you practice turning correctly, and you can do this just by simply practicing at home where there's something nearby to hang on to, just practice turning to the right and then to the left over and over again the right way. That way when you're out and about, it'll feel more natural to you to turn this way. A lot of people turn by crossing their legs. And I've seen people do this even more so if they're using a walker. They want to make a tighter turn so they cross their leg. You can fall with a walker if you do this and it can actually result in a big injury. You really want to avoid turning this way. The only safe way to turn is to start with the leg. If you're turning to the right, to start with the right leg and make the turn. If you start with your left leg when you're turning to the right, you will always cross your legs and you could tangle your legs up and have a fall. Turn training. To improve your ability to turn left and right, there are two ways to go. The first is on level ground. You want to be near something sturdy like a countertop and all you do is practice turning to the right and left. When you turn to the right, you want to lead with your right foot. You want to practice never crossing over. I suggest starting with a quarter turn to the right and then a quarter turn back to the left. When you feel you can do this without holding on, you can progress to a half turn. A half turn is just what it sounds like, a 180 degree turn. A lot of people find that their hips are very stiff, especially the muscles on the inside of your leg. If you find that you can't do this, then just stick with the quarter turn. But practicing the quarter turn over and over again, I suggest for at least five minutes a day, will greatly improve your ability to turn and it'll prevent falls because it'll train you to turn in the correct way. Now, if you feel that this is easy and you wanna try something with a little more challenge, you can do what I call step training. To do step training, you'll need two steps. You can use these aerobic steps like I use or even uh, anything that you can stand on. You want to arrange them so that you can stand between the two steps and then all you do is you practice turning to your left and stepping up, then stepping back down to the center, then turning to the right and stepping up, and then stepping back down to the center. What this exercise will do is promote a correct turn. It'll encourage you to turn the right way and to never cross. The idea is when you're out and about, you're gonna use this method even if you're stressed, even if you have to make a quick turn, you're going to turn in the correct way. With any balance exercise, you want to practice it at least for five minutes a day. So no matter what the exercise, you want to keep repeating it for about five minutes. There's not a specific number of sets and reps. You just want to do it for about five minutes and try to practice that every single day. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. 
And if you would like to work with a therapist or trainer that's trained in the techniques that you just saw, they can go to proprioceptiverehab.com to get training from me in exactly how to do this. I offer a course in proprioceptive rehabilitation for physical therapists and personal trainers.